is a goat to the lost sheep by the house of Israel and say, what? Go there real quick. Precept. I love precept. I love precept. Mm -hmm. I love precept. so-called Haitians, so-called Dominicans, so-called Indians of Panama, 
the Guatemala, the Panama, the tribe of Ephraim, the Puerto Ricans, and also the tribe of Cubans, of the Indian descent, God, the North American Indians, Ruben, the so-called Seminole Indians, Naftali, Argentina, the Chile, Asher, Colombia, Uruguay, and Ezekiel, the so-called Mexican. These, according to the Bible, are the seeds in the nation of Israel that have been this is why it says in Hosea, and a place where it said unto you, you are not my people. Did they tell us that? What they call us? Nigga spooks made with that sapphires. And all the other slang, slander. And it's all it was a slander. What is saying Hosea? Hosea thought, he said this, in a place where it was said unto us. Hosea chapter 1 verse 10. Old Testament. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea. Look at all these people here. Can they be counted? You can't be counted. It's millions of us. All over the place. Millions of Zebra, thousands of East, thousands of Manasseh. There's so many of us that the white man can't even count us. So many of our people are now populated in all these areas and they're over front of them. See? And it shall come to pass, in the place that it was said, said unto them, Ye are not my people. Where was that at, people? Right here in the so called America. What did they call our people? Negro, West Indian, Puerto Rico, Asian, Dominican, Negro, Spook, Spade, all every slander and every word of, 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 of slander and uh, my word and proverbs. In America, and the place we were we scattered, where we were called something else, and saying we are not the most high people, and the Christian so-called churches call us grafted in Gentiles. That was a lie mm -hmm. by all the so-called pastors That's right. from the Roman church and the denominations. Then it shall be said unto them, ye are the sons of who? Of the living God. The sons of the most high. The of the most high. So what does the son required to do? Matthew 10, 5 and 6, Yahweh shall say, and go, and, 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 now, as you go, in verse 7, preach with innocence. We'll preach. Coming to the priesthood. Get involved. What do you say? And preach, saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The new Jerusalem is coming. This is what the message of the Lord is. This is why he said in Isaiah 35, what? He will come and save you. Save you. In verse 4, then the eyes of the blind shall be open. At one time I will sleep. Mm -hmm. You know who I'll study with? The Jehovah's Witnesses. <laughs> Do you believe I went to church on Sunday? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> I was ignorant at the time and I didn't know. But when I heard that trumpet, up, 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 when the brothers blew that trumpet and I heard it, it was me. shocking. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> you see, we all, I told you brothers, it's been all my life. And for some reason, I, was, I ran up there to the school. And I knocked on the door. That's why I was at the door. Yeah, brother. I said, I'm coming for the class, sir. I had the paper on my hand like this. He said, come back at 7, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock. I waited downstairs from 1 o'clock in the afternoon to 7 at night. Mm -hmm. And I sat on the car and I waited and I waited and I waited. And he threw the key down and now that key he gave me. And the knowledge is what I got. The power of the power of my shot. He rolls me up to my teachers and I thank him for that. Because yeah. once some teachers taught you, you get sealed in this thing. That's right. He said, come on upstairs. And I walked through the door, and it had all the signs on The same sign you see here was on the, on the, on the, on the uh, wall. We don't change it. You know why we don't change it? Because we ain't stupid like a lot of you out there. Bunch of stupid assholes. Mm -hmm. And you're out there teaching all type of garbage. Yeah, I said ass. It's right in there, ain't it? Didn't the Lord call you a wild ass? So what are you talking about? I'm cussing. <laughs> Wild ass. 
And that's what he called us. And I went in there, and they showed us the job, job sign. They broke down the law. They spoke, Rosh Hashanah, they said, Shalom.
And another shall call himself by the name of who? Jacob Dyqua. Jacob. Ain't y'all doing that now? Did you change your name? Did you not change your name to a Hebrew name? Mm -hmm. You were once called by the British, Spanish, or French white man. What do you call yourself by? Calling yourself by your Hebrew name. That's part of the awakening and part of the revival. And it says this. And another shall subscribe with his hand unto the Lord, meaning you follow the most high commandments now. And that's what the subject is. Walking in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. You're going to subscribe to this, then you're going to follow it. You're mm -hmm. going to keep the commandments. You're going to keep the hawa the Passover. You're going to learn your language. Watch the one for You're going to learn that here today. You're going to learn the commandments, laws, the statutes that he gave us, and the faith of his son, which you have to have combination of this. And that's the one in the two. This is what you have to have. And that's why these Old Testament brothers got to fail over their face. So you talk to them, they dress in rags. They would say, you believe in your house, y'all? Oh, brother, I don't believe in you. I said, goodbye, brother. Mm -hmm. I'll leave you alone. Because you're not part of the elect. And you don't see. And it says here, subscribe with his hand unto the Lord, the hour, and, and surname himself by the name of Israel. Israel. Yes, by the name of Yahshua Allah. And you see our brother that's waking up to that? And I told you, brother, walk circumspect. For the days of evil. You can put on that name, you gotta put on his commandments. You can put on his promise, you gotta put it up. Why? Because it's here, the Lord, the Lord, and 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 and it says in verse 7, and the false ground shall become a pool, and the thirsty land springs of water. When you don't get that water here, you ain't gonna be thirsty no more. Once you drink the hollow shot, you say, you ain't gonna thirst no more for no other belief. I guarantee you. You ain't gonna go out back out there unless you're a damn hypocrite. Like you said in Job, a hypocrite shall not come before me. Why ain't they coming to the Shabbat class? Why ain't they coming up to support the truth? Because you're a hypocrite. And a double-minded person is what? Unstable in all their ways. That's why when y'all leave the school, you hurt yourself, you hurt me. That's right. So we don't get these blessings and we're going to stay drinking this water. <laughs> the word. See what I'm saying? And the fox ground shall become a pool and a thirsty land, springs of water in America. That's where we are now. In the habitation of dragons, because the white man is a devil, when yeah. each lake shall be grass and reeds and rushes. So in the land of America, we gonna prosper in this knowledge, because Yahweh said so, once we start opening our schools and the airways, and our people start building up and praying and turning toward the east and learning the commandments again in the faith, we gonna prosper and come up out of here. Mm -hmm. And a highway shall be there. What? <laughs> what I told you which way you gotta go. Is there many ways or one way? Yahweh shall say, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through me. He said, I am the way. What's the highway to the kingdom? And it shall be called the way of holiness for God. Holiness. And unclean shall not pass over it. If you ain't cleaning yourself up and taking the truth with this, you cannot tie our shoe strings. Get behind me, Satan. You want to try to come in here and overthrow the righteous. You ain't overthrowing us. We don't want no big mouth women. We don't want no damn money. And we damn sure don't want no chance for no other. Mm -hmm. What we want is our crowns. And how you going to get them crowns is something you got to do. See what it says here? Let's go to song. What you got to do? Oh, I just know I'm an Israelite. Yeah? All right. Let's see how long you're going to be singing that song and how long the whole time going to be tolerating this sickness. Get up, get girded up, and get dressed. And put on your garments and your holy garments and do this as he says in the song. This is what he requires us to do. Let's go to the book of Psalms, right? Psalms chapter 15. Psalms chapter 15, people, thus saith Yahweh. Psalms chapter 15, verse 1. Yahweh, 
Put your Bible in our tabernacle. Who, who coming in the congregation, in the assembly, and to the uh, camp, to Makaga? Who going to come in the camp and go out on the street to the people? Who shall dwell in a in holy hill? That's the new government that's coming. What are we teaching y'all about the new kings? He that walk of uprightly and work of righteousness and speak of the truth in his heart. You got to be of the elect. The elect. You got to do this for the Matthews. You got to come through the straight gate, man. Seven there's 13. a lot of ways out there and a lot of our people following all the ways of the Gentiles. And guess where it's going to end up taking you? To the pit of my wife. Go to Matthew chapter 7, people, and verse 13. Enter ye at the straight gate. So he told us about the highway. Is it a highway to hell? No, we're already in hell. We need to get the hell out of hell. Mm -hmm. The highway to New Jerusalem. To Yahweh's house. Enter. That person is what? Uh, enter in at the straight gate. For well, wide is the way and broad to the uh is the way that leads to the circle. And many there be that go there and there. See, when we tell y'all about these damn churches, and some of y'all leave the school because you got you got offended because your mama and your brother and your cousin and the little babies that go in the churches. They all don't care about none of that. Mm -hmm. They don't care about that. You don't care about our people covering inside of a whorehouse church with these people here. You see these so-called white people? Mm -hmm. These are the devils. They set up the churches. Mm -hmm. They set up the renaissance. They set up the Catholic church. They set up the church in your neighborhood. You can't open up a church in storefront in this country unless you get paper from the white man. And you're going to regulate what you teach and preach to the people. Like the so-called brothers up there in purple. Israel united in Christ. They're mm -hmm. controversial. They, they don't want to speak to other groups, and they don't want to speak to me, who has taught. I help teach them brothers too. They only want to talk to me up there. So what are they? A damn cult. Mm -hmm. You got brothers walking around in t-shirts talking about the folks high says, but what happened to the Hebrew? What happened to Yahweh? Did he not say the people going to know his name? The hell are you talking about, man? You a milkman. You go to fill the people up. And this damn thing right here, this Roman church and this, this disgusting church system that our people don't even talk about a white man is coming through the front. See? So come through the straight gate. But why is the way of destruction that lead up to what? To the darkness and the destruction of this world. And Isaiah 35, verse 8 says, the way of holiness is we coming into, and the unclean shall not pass over it. So if you are unclean, and you're in a vilism, and you still eat pork, and smoke mm -hmm. weed, and score prostitutes, and go on right. breaking the commandments of the Most High, and you don't want to learn, you don't want to take them damn dreads out your damn hair, and you want to walk around here listening to every damn faggot and uh, punk priest that's out here, the Lord said, you ain't coming in here. That's why you leave. We don't chase nobody out of here. The world takes your butt out of here. See what it says here? But it shall be for foes. The warfaring men. No fools shall not err their end. You ain't coming in here for a damn fool. Mm -hmm. The most high gonna make you wise. See? And these foolish ass fellas out here teaching wrong. When the time comes, the Howard's going to destroy you. Remember what happened to Jermaine Grant? Mm -hmm. The so called company? We've been telling y'all about this Bible for years. Um, on a Monday. Let's go to Luke. Chapter 1, verse 6. Walking in this path. In the commandments. Here's some examples of our people that did this in the time they were on the earth. You know who did this? Zacharias and his wife. Listen to this story right here in the book of Luke. These are brothers and sisters that walked with the Howard and the Howard child back then, and he wrote them down for eternity. Just like we're going to be written in the laws and the books of the prophets again, and our names going to be put in there. The 
the ones of us who get out. That's right. Luke chapter 1, Amen. verse 6 says this. And they were both righteous before Yahweh, walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord. Amen. See that? Who was this up here? There was in the days of Herod, the king of Judea, verse 5, a certain priest named Zacharias, of the course of Abia. These were the Levites. Patience today, they were called. And his wife was the daughter of Aaron. Those were the Levites that would be called Haitians today. And her name was Elizabeth. And they were both righteous before Yahweh, walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord blameless. So where are you going without the law, people? You Christians. Ah, oh, the law is done away with. Where? Show me a scripture in the Bible. The Lord did the law away with. It ain't in there. That's what they teach and why? So they can school white men, so they can go to church on Sunday, they can deny the Shabbat, so they can deny what the most high's order. To get to Yahweh Shah, the scripture says, the law without schoolmaster is enough to Yahweh Shah. Understand? So what they talk about. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Everything they say is contrary to God. Because the most high says, in the last days, they shall not go by sound doctrine. But by which his ears and pastors with pockets full of money go sold out and they walking around speaking babbling lies. Here you go. Galatians chapter 3 verse 24. Wherefore the law was our schoolmaster to bring us unto shelter. See that?
for Psalm 119, 105. Psalm 119 and verse 105, it is written as it is written. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet. The law and a light unto my path. So why you gotta walk? The how it shall get that set. Commandments. He says, Happy, we follow in heaven. And what do you say? See? So, thy word is a lamp. So that law is a light in this world. What's right and what's wrong now? What's sin and what's not sin? Unto my feet. So, as we're walking in the path of righteousness for his name's sake, mm -hmm. you got to be keeping the what? Commandments. Commandments. Don't tell me you're walking in the spirit. What spirit? Ain't this the spirit? Mm -hmm. Didn't they come with their spirit? Didn't they come tell us? Didn't they come rob us? Didn't they lie to us? What spirit they came in? Like they say in the Bible, that like Paul and them say, if you receive another spirit, if you receive another Jesus. <laughs> and that's what our people have accepted right now. If you accept this damn vow, yeah. That's what our people been taught by the Gentiles, and they love to have it so. See? So you got to be walking in the, in, the, in the commandments. And the path is the path of righteousness, keeping the most high laws, commandments, and statutes. And what else? Ephesians 2.10. For the Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. It ain't hard. All you got to do is submit to it. Drink it as milk. Put the laws on your, on your neck. And, and, and meditate on it and go to sleep. I'll be dreaming about scriptures. I'll be asking the Father, which one we teach next, Lord? You can show me in my mind. Mm -hmm. I'll bring it up for you. Amen. This is spirit. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10 says what? Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. For we are his workmanship, ready in the Habashah unto good works. Y'all hear that? Mm -hmm. The most high to your Habashah means you. Stop walking around here like you're homeless and you don't know who your creator is. Mm -hmm. See? Look at their works. Which Yahweh has made uh, before ordained that we should walk in them. Mm -hmm. You know what to bring our seeds back to other nations. 
right. you're just here to help us. Sure. And if you get all souped up, call yourself a damn ghetto queen, there go the door. You brothers can't keep your penis in your pants, and you can't stop being whoremongers, there go the door. <laughs> you can't stop worshiping Baal, there go the door. <laughs> we're not having that in there. Okay? Because the most high says you're going to be walking in this for his name's sake, and the path of life is what? What's the path of life? The path of walking in this. Everybody go to Jesus. The knowledge of the what? The commandments of Yahweh is the doctrine of life. So, this is the life you got to live like. The statutes and the law. Didn't Zechariah in it? Didn't that brother Zechariah in it? Mm -hmm. So, you women can't tell me you can't keep these commandments. That means you're weak. That means you don't want to do it. That means you have no faith. And like the Lord said in Deuteronomy 32, our people have no faith. That's what our people are right now. We don't need that in there. If you don't have no faith, you don't, you, we, you, just like walking around with dead weight. It's like I'm carrying a pack on my back. I got to carry it. Brother, are you coming? No, man, I, I got to wake you up all the time. Got to reprove you all the time, these sisters. You don't want to stop wearing dreads in your hair. You don't want to stop letting your bastard children in your house. You don't want to stop. Uh, fornicating and laying down with men, then you're not worthy to be here. Mm -hmm. If you don't, if you can't have a man uh, in the Bible that just says is the head of the wife, that's the ways of life mm -hmm. and the laws of the will pass. So these commandments are the laws of life, and this is what we're following, and also we following this. Jeremiah six sixteen. This is what it's all about. Go to Jeremiah 6, 16. Thus said your house, stand in the way, and see, and ask for the Holy Spirit. So, we still in this, we still in some of the stuff they bought us from the so-called whites at one time. Some of us might have been Catholics, or Catholic denominations, or Baptists, mm -hmm. or Seventh-day Adventists, or Jehovah's Witness, or Mason, or whatever. And we got all that garbage from it. So that's why he said, look at these waves. The waves of the Gentiles that worship devils. Okay? And we don't follow that anymore. See what it says here? Uh, Jeremiah 6, 16. In the old path. Ask for the old path. Where is the good way? What's the good way? The commandments and the law. And what there is. You shall find rest for your souls. But they said, we will not walk there. Let you know what's wrong with your hands. stubborn. Stubborn. This is the way to the kingdom, the highway to the kingdom. You know what our people say? We ain't going to do it. Well, since you don't want to do it, guess what? You're going to get left behind and you're going to stop. We're going to move on. What all these guys don't say? If a nigga can't get it, we moving on. So I said what my elders said. If you can't get it, you move it on. The blood is off our hands. Okay? And it says, and I have set watchmen over you, guess what? I'm a watchman. Saying, hearken to the sound of the trumpet. What's the sound of the trumpet? Thus said the Hawabah Shemi al Thus said the Lord out of the Bible. Whether they hear, or whether they forbear. When we go out, we're going to blow the trumpet. Mm -hmm. We're going to say, Thus said the house. First brother coming on up. Mm -hmm. Drop the word, then they're going to stop and listen. That's your house speaking to them. And once we speak to you out of his word, the blood is off our hands. See what it says here? Saying, Hearken to the sound of the trumpet. But they said, We will not hearken. Therefore, hear, O ye nations, and know, O ye congregation, what is among them? What's among us? <laughs> This was wrong with your people, man. Their hearts are in the vices of evil. Ezekiel 14, the Lord said, they're going to come to us and we're going to show you every abomination of the house of Israel and tell you that's an idol. No, nope, that ain't right. No, can you do this? No, you can't do that. No. Straight commandments, straight path, 
to get to the highway to the new Jerusalem by keeping the laws and what else? I'm going to show you what's next in walking in that faith. But he said this. Here, the whole will bring evil upon this people. That's why you catch in hell now. Now why? Even the fruit of their thoughts, what I told y'all last time. You can fool me, but the most I know what the hell you're thinking. See? And we had a sister run out of here last week. Because why? Her thoughts were against the commandments. Right. And me. And she threw doo doo at me. I said, whoa. Oh. <laughs> Put up my armor. Ding, 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 ding. I told the congregation, she left. Mm -hmm. Remember I told y'all that? Yes, you did. Y'all said, you got the devil on. I said,
commandments and the faith of Yahweh Shah. Do y'all understand? You gotta have both. These are the ones of the elect, the ones that's keeping the commandments, keeping the commandments, and of the great one, the Shah Akhala, the Savior and the great one. That's what we teach you here. So we tell you who we are. Right here on national TV. Okay? So the Lord said we have to do this. Go to Matthew 7 15. Beware of what these false prophets are out here. Watch them. Know them by their fruits. And what it says here, Matthew chapter 7, verse 15, it says what? Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep clothes, but inwardly, well, where do you want? This is where the Negro was in Puerto Rico learn to be priests from, from devils. So if you learn to be devilish, why do you think you're preaching devils and doctrines of devils? Because you've been taught wrong. The religious instruction of the Negroes in America. What about the rest of the tribes? You got the same thing, man. They got us, and then they got you. So beware of these false prophets that's among us. Romans 3, verse 20. This is what we got to walk in into our last dying days. Amen. Romans chapter 3. Start at verse 20. Let's go to Romans chapter 3, verse 20. Therefore, by the deeds of the law, there no shall no flesh be justified in this sight. For, by the, for the law is the knowledge of sin. Remember, Yahweh Shah came to fulfill everything that was in the law. We didn't keep them, so the law was the knowledge of sin, as it's recorded in 1 John chapter 2, verse, verse 4. The law was the knowledge of sin. But now, the righteousness of the Yahweh, without the law, is manifested, being witnessed by the law and the prophets. That's why we read all those books to Even the righteousness of the Yahweh, which is by faith in the Yahweh shot. The word Jesus Christ, people, means anointed Savior. The word anointed Savior means so they taught us those basics, but when you read in the last one for not, that's what the word anointed Savior is. Mashasha, the anointed Savior. So through us believing in the laws and Mashasha, Jesus Christ, we are what? Made righteous. You see what it says here? Even the righteousness of Yahweh, which is by Yahweh Shah, faith of Yahweh Shah, and to all. That call uh, that, and upon uh, all and upon all them that believe. For there is no difference. For we are all sin and come short to the glory of the most high. So what do we have to do to get out of here? I wonder what we gotta do. Romans 5 and 8. But Yahweh commanded his love toward us. And that while we were sinners, the Hawa Shah died for us. You hear that? There wasn't Martin Luther King, wasn't no damn Malcolm X, there wasn't King David. It was your Savior, the Hawa Shah. The Hawa Shah. Oh, they wanted to save you. Much more than, by being justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath to him. What we told y'all is coming. The wrath of the Lord is coming upon the world, so. And by us believing in the Hawashai, Mashasha, we are going to be saved from the wrath to come. Do not leave this faith and don't leave your past. But I told people that thing. You, 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 oh, listen. If you go and get another teacher and he teaches you a lot, and I'm teaching you the truth, am I not willing? If I'm not warning, that's my job to warn you not to go to these jet plays, damn preachers, and these so-called false pastors, and these so-called clergy. So yes, the Lord said you must reverence him and those that are of him. You must respect, respect the priesthood. Mm -hmm. And a lot of you ain't doing that because you're stubborn, shit-drinking, and rebellious. You can go to damn my wife. Go to hell. You don't want to come in here and do what the Lord told you to do. You're not going to be saved. And we cannot have any fellowship with you. See what it says here? Much more than being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. But 
if when we were enemies and we were reconciled to Yahweh by the death of his son, much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. So have your life in Yahweh's shop. Not only so, but we also joy in Yahweh through our Lord Yahweh's shop, by whom we have also received the atonement. So now mm -hmm. shall die for us, that was an atonement to the most high. No other man on this planet can save you except him. Wrath is coming, the most high said do this. Let's go to uh, 1 Peter 4, 4 and what? Uh, let's go to 1 Peter chapter 4. Who can be saved? Mm -hmm. I'll come down and say, what's going to happen, though? Hey, you got to have faith in who? you got to have faith in the most high. Let's go to 1 Peter chapter 4 and say this. Here. Uh, chapter 4, verse 1. For if us suffer for us in the flesh, arm yourself likewise the same mind. And he that has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin. And he no longer should live in the rest of his time in the flesh as the lust of men, but by the will of your house. For in times past our life suffice us if we want the will of the Gentiles, meaning we in that Gentile stuff. When we walk in lavishness, lust, excess of wine, revealing, thankfulness, and bountiful adultery. Wherefore, they think it strange that you run not with them to the same excess of wine, speaking evil of you. So mm -hmm. you won't be spoken evil of, now that you're in the other side. Right. Do y'all understand that? Mm -hmm. So this is what the Most High says in Isaiah 52 and 6. Isaiah 52 and 6 says this. Therefore, my people shall know my name. Therefore, they shall know that in that day that I am he that speaks them. Behold, it is I. And the word I means God. So in the last days, when we're walking in the path of righteousness, for his name's sake, is Yahweh. Not God. So get these brothers' heads out of the damn garbage trail and the milk train and tell them to start learning these scriptures, and if you need to be refreshed again, you can come to the base and drink the water freely. So what does the Most High want you to do? Hosea chapter 10 verse 12. It's time for you to seek the Lord and to come. Meaning, peace be under you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.